how to use Fiverr as a complete beginner. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Fiverr as a complete beginner in 2021. Now, Fiverr is a website or a platform where people come over to find work or to get paid for their services that they offer on this website. Now, there's a big misconception about this website is that people think that they you can get anything done in just five dollars so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video and the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over to fiverr.com and over here all you have to do is click on join at the top right here so click on join now you can enter in your email or you can sign up by using google or apple or facebook now that process makes it a lot easier because you don't have to enter in all your details manually but for the sake of this video i'm just simply going to sign in using e email so once you've signed up on this website and you've finished up all your verifications, this is how the website will look like. Now, as you can see in front of you, we have a lot of things going on here. So I'm going to explain it to you in detail. So at the top right here, we have your search bar and we have a couple of categories that are most popular on Fiverr. So we've got graphics and design, digital marketing, writing and translations, video and animation, music and many, many more. And at the top right here, we also have explore messages, lists, orders, and we have the option to switch to seller or switch to a buyer. I'm currently in buyer mode. So that means that I have to buy services. So let me just show you how you basically can buy a service on Fiverr. So to search a particular service, all you have to do, click on this search box right here, which says find services. And in that box, all you have to do is search for a type of service that you are looking for, and it can be anything. So for the sake of this video, I'm just simply going to search for voiceovers. Now, when I search for voiceovers, as you can see, we have a lot of different results and we also have some options to select a language, a certain language. So we have English voice. So we have English languages, German, French, Arabic, Italian and Spanish. And at the bottom right here, we have some filters that we can use to adjust our searches. So and we also have these options right here, such as pro services, subscription services and online sellers. These are basically for those that want the most high end, most professional quality voiceovers that you can get on Fiverr. But we're not going to do that because for the everyday man, you don't really need that. So let's just stick to the basics over here. And at the bottom right here, we can see we have a lot of different options. So we have this person right here just starting at $35 and she also has five star reviews with over 1000 reviews which I think is very very awesome and we also have this person right here which is starting at $20 and has a five star rating with over 260 reviews so let's just select this person right here and another thing that I have to point out to you guys is that if you want to see that this person provides a top-notch service, all you can do is search for this tag right here, which says top rated seller. Now these both have top rated seller tag. As you can see, these two have level two sellers and level two sellers. So let's just go ahead and select this person right here. And as you can see this, she is an American female voiceovers, the best on Fiverr. So as we can see down below, these are some of the reviews that people have given out to her. So this person right here says that she was really great to work with as a first person on Fiverr experienced. She nailed the voiceover and she was very helpful which means that she is an honest worker and has a top-notch services as well. And she also offers this demo over here. So you can listen to the demo if you want. She has a couple of different demos. So whichever person you choose will also have this sort of layout as well. So over here on the right side, as you can see the voiceover, she'll be doing it for $20 and she will be providing one revision, which basically means that if there's something wrong with the voiceovers, she will then remake the voiceover or fix that problem just once so you have to be careful about that and see how many revisions that you can get and as she says that she can provide the voiceover in just two days now at the bottom right here we have choose our plans so we can order once or have a subscription of three months saving 10 percent every month from your second order so what that basically means is that we can either pay $20 for once or keep paying her $20 and add by forth for every month and get a 10 percent off on the second order Whichever ones you choose, but if you're looking for just a one-time gig, I would recommend just ordering once. But if you want to continue on working professionally, then I would suggest you take the subscription as well. And at the bottom right here, the seller will have a sort of description about her. So I would also recommend you read these because it helps you a lot to know a little bit better about the buyer. So 
once you have your desired person to work with all you have to do is just select whichever plan you want and then just simply click on continue once you click on continue you will have all these options in front of you so you can add in number of words so basically if you have a script that you want to get done a voiceover on you can enter in the amount of words that they are and it can be any number that, that the script can so make sure you know how many words that there are so that you don't get underpaid or get overpaid so let's just enter in 1200 words so for 1200 words a script you will have to pay 220 dollars and at the bottom right here you have some extras as well extra add-ons basically so if you want like commercial rights you will have to pay 40 dollars extra if you want additional revisions plus two days you can also add 20 dollars and script proofreading so if you want the seller to proofread your script for grammatical errors she will charge you an extra 120 dollars now this person is charging a lot but we're just for the sake of this video we're just showing you how it basically means to buy a service from Fiverr. So you can choose whichever extra you want or none at all it doesn't really matter and once you've done it all you have to do is click on checkout. Now at the above right here you can see that the subtotal is $240 with a service fee of $13.20 and the total is $253 and the delivery time will be in 9 days. So all you have to do is simply click on continue to check out and then you will have to wait for the buyer to contact for the seller to contact you and you can give her all the details that you want and that is basically it and that's how it feels to become a buyer on Fiverr. Next let me show you how you can become a seller. So go back to their main homepage and over here at the top as I said before you will have this option right here which is continue to selling which basically means that you will be offering skills to other people. So click on switch to selling now once you switch to selling mode you will have to create a wonderful profile you will have to get some gigs to stand out on the amount of competition that Fiverr has so once you switch to seller mode you will see all these options in front of you now how do you get gigs on Fiverr so basically at the top right here you will have a few different options you have dashboard messages orders and gigs analytics earnings community and more so come over to gigs and click on gigs once you're over here all you have to do is click on create a new gig now once you click on create a new gig all you have to do is enter in all these different details so over here on gig title you have, will have to enter in something that you are really really good at now I've written I will edit different videos for you such as podcasts and basic vlogs now as you can see I've entered this title but it's too long so I have to enter in a shorter title so that it looks good now as you can see I've entered in the gig title and I'm very good at video editing so I just simply entered in that I will be editing videos for you such as podcasts and other videos so next all they want to do is select a category now this is in the video editing category so select this category and as you can see it's already suggested the categories for us and all we have to do is simply choose that category now in the middle right here we have gig metadata so all you have to do is select the primary type of videos you added so it can be anything it can be ads it can be family to or travel videos or explainer videos corporate videos music videos or VR and 360 videos anything basically anything that you want so I mostly edit videos such as for social medias and explainer videos such as this including this video right here and I also edit corporate videos as well so basically just select whichever one you want let's just select for ads and social media and then just simply search for tags so and tags really help guys so don't skip on tags like enter in any tags that you want that are related to video editing and you can all uh, so you have to put in at max five tags okay use letters and numbers only so make sure you enter in tags and then all you have to do save and continue and we have changes saved next we have pricings at pricings all you have to do is enter make some different packages now at the basic package you can write whichever basic package you want then the standard then the premium and hence give people more options as well so for basic we'll just enter in basic details basic editings for standard we'll put a little bit more effort such as adding in more stock videos and stock footages or images and for premium do everything we can we'll put motion graphics we'll put animations we'll put stock videos we'll put everything 
then for the delivery time you can just change the delivery time so for basic video editing i would say that one day is enough for standards i'd say two days are enough for premium i'd say four days are enough so footage provided by buyers you can for basics let's just select 15 and for premium let's just select 10 because it takes a lot of time for a premium video so in basic package you can choose whichever categories you want to add so i would say that for basics let's just add in we're not go going to be doing any of these we're not going to be adding color grading or sound design and mixing or motion graphics not for basics we'll probably do that for the premium or the standard so for the basic revisions let's just offer two revisions for standards two revisions as well for premium let's go for and we'll color grade the standard videos but nothing more for premium we'll just do all of these subtitles might take a little bit of time but that's why we entered in four day delivery time so next at the bottom you can also add extra so for basics let's just enter in a price of ten five dollars and for premium and for standards let's add 15 and for the premium let's add 30 okay now at the bottom right here you can also add extra fast delivery time so for so for basic you can deliver it in one day for an extra let's say two dollars because the basic video doesn't require any editing so for standards you will also do it in one day for another five dollars and for the premium you'll do it in two for an additional thirty dollars now you can also add in color grading and extra things such as these for whichever how many dollars you want and you can also add in an extra gig as a bonus and then all you have to do is simply save and continue and then you will have to add in different descriptions and questions then you'll have to add different requirements then you have to add in for the gallery and then for the final step you can publish your gig so let me just fill out all these different forms that are required for me to do and then i will catch you guys in step number three so now that i've entered in all the details let's just simply click on save and continue and wait for it to load and over here you all you have to do is enter in a brief description about your gig so you're basically doing video editing and almost all sorts of video editing so just add whichever description that you think that is most suitable for your gig and that is describing your gift gig perfectly and you can also add in faq questions and then just simply click on save and continue so now we're at step number four which is requirements you can add in new questions so basically you have to add in at least one requirement you have to add in basically at least one question and then just simply click on add and then just simply click on save and continue then at the gallery all you have to do is showcase some of your previous works you can add in your video drag and drop your video drag in three images or a document then just check this box then just simply save and continue and then you will have your gig published and that is basically it that is how you become a buyer and a seller on fiverr and you can earn money from fiverr as well now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications guys and if you have any other questions related to this video please let me know down in the comment section below and i will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then goodbye